Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm okay. It's, it's all right. Just getting in the zone. This is, this is how I, I get into it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying not. I'm trying not to apologize. I'm a very apologetic person. Uh, just bear with me for a second. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I'm, I'm here. I am here. I'm performing. I'm performing. Let me do, let me do. Ugh.
sensations where the lamb is like genetically altered so that when you slaughter it and then you turn its intestines into a condom it gives you a warm sensation while having intercourse um so yeah anyway so i got this bible and um it's been kind of interesting reading it there's a lot of weird things, a lot of like, kind of, I'm sure, I, I've read the Bible a lot. I don't know if you guys can relate to this anymore. I'll like, uh, I'll skip ahead if you need me to, but um, I re 
read Revelations, and uh, that was cool. There's like one chapter called Jesus Will Come Quickly, and that was, that was strange. I just kind of giggled. Um, but yeah, I feel like Kara talked about all these props. You guys, you guys like comedy? Um, I mean, we are in Chicago, you know. I'm kind of like, um, I'm kind of like Bob Newhart. I'm like the OG, you know, it's great. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys about? I did, I did my Jesus. A lot of Jewish stuff. Things about my relationship. Um, Austin pa oh, oh, okay, I was talking about things holding up and not holding up in like the Me Too moment. And, um, you know, apart from my, my like weird, sketchy profession, I've kind of become a bit of like, a, like an armchair economist like during the Me Too moment, where like, every now and then I have these, these kind of ideas where I'm like, oh yeah, it made sense that Louis C.K. got all this stuff taken off of like HBO's website or whatever it was. Um, but then I'll go to like a record store and then I'll catch like, you know, a dollar like Bill Cosby record. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? And you know, it's just people are like, uh, they're throwing that shit back out and then it's like on the shelves for a dollar because nobody wants it anymore. But then I keep like, I'm like, that's a lot of trauma. That's a lot of trauma being like reintroduced to the world. Like how many records did he put out? And I'll start like, I'll sit down and I'll do the math and I'll go on Wikipedia and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so fucking smart right now, I'm just like calculating how many Bill Cosby records are like out in the world and thinking about it as like a curatorial project and thinking about like the, the, the probability that like a survivor of one of these men like encounters their, uh, their output and it's just fucked up. I got a Bill Cosby record in there. Just on a music stand. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna bring it out here, but maybe I'll read the the back of this thing because the name of it is really odd, and um, it's called "Why Is There Air." <laughs> the reason I don't want to bring it out is because, like, I'm not. I don't like, um, I'm not entirely certain about the politics yet, you know, <laughs> um, of like presenting these things in front of people, like, I can be kind of blasphemous, but I don't want to, you know, <laughs> it's sticky, it's like a sticky situation, it's like, like disgusting. <laughs> dirty taste in my mouth. <laughs> and then you have the camps who are like, oh, but you guys fuck with Woody Allen, though. <laughs> You're a bunch of fucking hypocrites. But they both suck. Um. <laughs> this is why I said armchair economist. I guess I'm like a bit of an armchair everything. Now. Girl, but uh, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand over here and read this thing so that you don't have to see anything. It's just kind of interesting too because this even talks about how he's not really funny. <laughs> I can't imagine having a comedy record and it started like this. He shouldn't be funny. <laughs> because he doesn't tell jokes, but he is funny. 
and then this it gets worse. <laughs> Bill Cosby has fingers like tentacles. Dead ass, it says this shit. Talks faster than a scared mule. I don't know, like, animals don't really talk, so I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, and has a heart bigger than Dumbo, the flying pink elephant. I doubt that. Actually, no, I don't. I don't, I don't know. This is getting... Digging myself. Mules and tentacles are fine. But that heart, man, it's, is the gas. That's one of the qualities that makes Bill so Cosby. Gas. Makes him so warmly accepted. You identify with Bill's material. It's not about rocket ships and mothers-in-law worse than Lucretia Attila. That reference doesn't hold up either. <laughs> For instance, Bill can do eight minutes on his first car. The same one you had with no low gear, remember? And when he talks about things we all have gone through and then forgot, he just talks. No big setups, no knock em dead singers. And when he takes up a situation like, uh, like kindergarten, I guess this album's about kindergarten actually, which is kind of weird. Everything's just kind of strange in our world now. He doesn't exaggerate. If anything, Bill under-aggerates. No topical jobs, no White House gags. Just plain old mankind on review. Mankind on review. Mankind. Man. In previous albums, Bill has recalled lots that we've all forgotten about life. Things like hustled up street football games. Oh yeah, he was a gym teacher. Now, a line like that ain't exactly what most comedians would call bar. The line was, Arnie, go down 10 steps and cut left behind the black Chevy. How big a laugh would Hope or Penny or Saul get with that? Also those, maybe those references still hold up. I don't know. Uh, about this big hee-hoo, hee-hole. Cosby knocks you down on your silly with material like that. How come he's a guy with total recall? Total recall. He remembers incidents none of us mortals do. He's told more about his past life than Proust. Is Woodshop funny? What's so hilarious about football or first grade? For answers, listen to this album, fans. It's about the only way you'll hear Bill for a while anyway. Because right now, he's temporarily out of circulation. <laughs>